Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to Center Moments channel. I'm John Lima and in this video I want to talk about five amazing musky fragrances. Um, I've been discovering musky fragrances or fragrances that are heavy on musk because I have a lot of fragrances that feature musk and they are quite musky in the base bus but I want to explore more heavy musky fragrances. So I have here five, which are fantastic. Musk gives this uh, second skin, slightly animalic, very sensual feel, which I absolutely love. Um, and so with that being said, I will not feature, like I will not mention these fragrances in a specific order, um, but I absolutely love these five and I think if you love musk or if you are exploring musky fragrances, these five are some of uh, the best musky fragrances out there. So, first fragrance, it's from House of Kiehl's Original Musk. I think this is a must-have. Uh, this is a must-have type of scent, will not break the bank. I think this is a 50ml or 30ml, uh, no, I'm not, uh, I'm not sure, yeah, 50ml. Although it's quite a uh, small bottle, but uh, this is a 50 ml and this, is, this will not break the bank. I think you will pay like 40 euros. I, I don't really recall how much I paid or 50 euros. Uh, I don't recall <laughs> really, but it was affordable. It, it's, this is quite affordable for the quality. This, it's very musky and um, a bit soapy, <laughs> if that makes sense. It's clean furry slightly animalic musk it's amazing I, I mean seriously this is amazing the performance it's okay i mean it's the five six hours range which is fine which is perfectly fine bless you the uh, work day um this for me is signature scent worthy because it's not challenging although it has animalic furry nuances but it's not that challenging because it's also, it also has some clean, soapy qualities. It's fantastic. I think it's a great quality musk right here um, that I definitely uh, urge you to check this one out. I purchased this one last month. So, I mean, it took me a while to purchase this one, um, but I'm very glad that I have this. Uh, this is definitely one of the best musks out there. and or at least is a great musk for beginners. <laughs> so it's incredible. Uh, it's a bang for a buck type of musk, original musk by Kiehl's. Next fragrance, it's from the house of Narciso Rodriguez. And of course, if you want to talk about musk, we need to feature this house. This house is all around musk. Uh, the majority of uh, their fragrances is it's around musk and they have some amazing musky uh, fragrances and this is one of them i think it's uh, discontinued or soon to be unfortunately it's for him with the parfum this fragrance is oh it's so damn musky musk and iris wow uh, it has this clean musk uh, with this powdery iris but also has this furry texture it's great I mean this is great not scratchy it's just it has this natural feel it's well blended it's very unique for a design i mean this is a design of, but could be easily in the niche bottle and i think it would get much more praise than actually it has but this fragrance right here for him by narcisse rodriguez the eau de parfum concentration is fantastic the eau de toilette is also great it has musk there but it's more around violet this one has a more prominent musk when compared with the eau de toilette it's great um it's another signature scent worthy scent quite elegant 
um, very sophisticated. The iris gives this touch of sophistication, and I absolutely love this. A great performance. Um, I highly advise you to get this while you can. If you like Musk, and if you if you like Iris, even and I urge you even more. Uh, but if you like Musk, please just check this one out. It is Narciso Rodriguez for him with the Pajaro. The next fragrance it's from the house of Bruno Acambora, a very underrated uh, Italian niche brand, and this is simply Musk. Musk, this is an extrait de parfum and it's really one of the best musk fragrances that I've ever smelled. <laughs> this is just musk and it smells like deer musk. I already smelled uh, deer musk natural oil and oh, it's brilliant, it's magic. And this is the closest thing to that. And it's so good, man. This is so good. Again, this is just musk. Uh, you'll not get more than musk. But it's so good. I mean, natural. It, I mean, it comes across very natural. Uh, lasts the entire day. Um, and I'm very impressed by the quality of this musk. I mean, yeah, the, the, the presentation, it's not the best. Um, it feels, I mean, it's very light. Um, it feels very light. Um, and the cap also, I mean, it's very light, plasticky. And it's not the best presentation. This is the type of scent that it, what matters is the scent inside. It's that type of fragrance. And if you love musk, I think this is a must-have. Uh, it's Musk from Bruno Acampora. Um, just check, check this one out. It's really, if you want to explore how Musk really smells like, check this one out. Bruno Acampora, Musk, the Extrait de Parfum. The next fragrance here, it's a classic. Um, I mean, if you if we are talking about Musk, this is a type of scent that comes to mind right away. From the house of Frederick Mal, Musk Ravageur. Now, this was reformulated because I remembered quite well when I tried this one back in 2017. Um, and this was very animalic, very PC. It was very challenging. Now, it's more gourmand. I mean, the musk is still here, it's still amazing, but they amped up the vanilla cinnamon qualities. Uh, so this is more creamy, more gourmand, literally more gourmandish, more edible, with still a heavy dose of musk. This is so sensual, animalic, seductive, alluring. I just want to smell this over and over. Yeah, this is inspired by Chalimar, but still, it goes in a different territory, in my opinion. While Chalimar has that orange and it's not, it's not as gourmand as this one is. And this one is more cozy and more warm. And I would say more sensual. I love the musk in here, I like seriously. So good. Uh, it's a classic from Frederick Mal. So it is a type of scent that you need to experience once in your life. Um, seriously, this is one of the most sexy fragrances that I have in my collection. Um, a gourmand musky scent. Uh, for me, that's incredibly unique. Uh, if you're not considering uh, Chalimar, and if so, it, even if we compare with Chalimar, I still think this has lots of unique touches. Um, I absolutely love this. It's definitely one of the best musky fragrances out there. It's a staple. It's a type of scent that, if you don't, uh, if you don't feel that it's full bar worthy, again, you need to try it at least. 
Moose Rabageur from Frederic Mal. And last but definitely not least, this is one of my favorites and this is a sexual scent. It is Under My Skin by Francesca Bianchi. This is an extra de parfum, 30 ml, it's all you need. Um, this, wow. Whoa. <laughs> so intoxicating, animalic, furry, leathery, dark, but but so sexual and carnal. Mm, I love the musk in here. It's, it has a natural feel. All Francesca Bianchi fragrances have this natural feel. They are incredibly well blended, in my opinion. I love the quality of the ingredients that she uses, and all of her fragrances have this uh, carnal, sexual feel. Some more than others, this one definitely is the best interpretation of all of those characteristics. This, this is the masterpiece from Francesca Bianchi, in my opinion. Under My Skin, it's also one of the best animalic musky fragrances out there. Um, it's that type of scent that I think it's also a staple in its genre, in the animalic musky fragrances. I urge you to try this. And I actually, I urge you to have her uh, sample set because I think it's an amazing experience. Even if you will not appreciate all of her fragrances, um, but or even if any but at least i think it's still an experience that i think everyone should have under my skin i mean wow it's again one of the best in the game in this category uh guys i hope you enjoy this video i really want to explore more musky fragrances uh musky dominant fragrances tell me in the comments down below what fragrances would you suggest me to try more would love to hear your thoughts and see you in the next video. Take care, guys.